Ready for a second. I'll tap you. Yeah. Tea or coffee? Hmm? Or, I mean, you could try the soup if you're feeling masochistic. <laughs> Kristen Longica, DS. Uh, I just transferred from CID. Amy Silver, DCI. I know. When did they put this machine in? Oh, the clamour for bad soup got too loud to ignore. <laughs> I wanted to ask you something, if you don't mind. I've got my inspector interview coming up, and Robertson said that you would be the best person to help me prep. Now's not a good time. Sorry. Okay. No worries. Can I buy you hot chocolate? Uh, no, I'm good. No, I'd like to. Um, so what would you say is the biggest mistake people make in their interviews? <laughs> mm. Yes? Yeah, five Thank minutes. You. Okay. Thank you, that is all I need. <sighs> no one gets it first time. No one. Well, that's good to know. Any tips, though? Even just to fill the silence? Yeah, don't be too nice. Don't be an arse, but just don't be too nice either. You know? You don't have to please everybody. Not everyone deserves it. Spoken like a true misanthrope. Sort of got to be, haven't you? It's part of the job description. Trust no one, don't get emotionally involved. Have you ever thought about motivational speaking? <laughs> a great detective shuts herself off. She focuses on the work at the cost of everything else. So what you're saying then is accept total loneliness. <laughs> OK. Do you really believe that? Yeah, wholeheartedly. So you do have a heart, then, despite what you're claiming? No, not when I'm at work, I don't. Aye, but you're not always at work, though, are you? <laughs> oh, God, I don't... I really don't do this. <laughs> well, I... <laughs> oh, not on a school night. <laughs> well, I mean, that's good to know, cos nobody should be drinking this much whiskey. No. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a special occasion, mm -hmm. so... Very true. Actually, on that, here's to fucking up my interview. <laughs> Again. Again. <laughs> oh, God, again. <laughs> you look different when you're having a good time. What? What do you mean? <laughs> well, I don't know. It's like your whole face. Like, it opens up. It is lovely. It does. It's lovely. It's lovely. <laughs> it's lovely. <laughs> oh, um... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. <sighs> I'm not. I, I didn't know that. Um, I did know that. Oh, God, I'm going to go just because we've got an early start. Shouldn't you be calling it a day? Three new cases this week. When was the last time you were home by nine? Well, there's a lot to do, so... OK. And I don't like going home. So at least I feel useful here. But look, I could, um... I could finish up if you wanted to go for a drink or something. Come on, then. Don't let anybody tell you that you don't know how to throw a party. This is all your fault. No, <laughs> mine. <laughs>
you say you weren't into women? I like you. Oh, you like me? Tell me that when you're sober. Okay. I will. I mean, I'll have a headache, but I'll still feel the same. Dash, dot, dot, dash. It's an N. No, oh. no. <laughs> no, an N is dash, dot. Come on, dash, dot, dot, dash. What is that? Mm. Oh, I love this song. It's my dad's favourite song. He plays it every time he gets drunk. He's from Stornoway. Oh, it was a terrible tragedy. Affected the whole of the island. The sinking of the Isle Lair. Still a big deal for the trawler men. I love you. I? Mm -hmm. You can't even say it, can you? See the top of your head. You're like an iceberg. 90% of you hidden away. <laughs> and are you my Titanic? Oh, it feels a bit that way sometimes. Don't go away this summer. Like, properly away. Yeah, okay. Do you even want to? <laughs> I said okay. Ugh. Ooh, nothing. I give up. What, what was that? No, you haven't said it. You haven't said it. <laughs> I don't mean to push you, it's just that you said that you'd introduce me. Said and I needed months. some time. Ti How much fucking time do you need, Her Amy? Up. Are you ashamed of me? What? Are you ashamed of this? Why can't you be honest with me? T telling me what I can't do. You, you just take everything so personally. Change. Because you keep putting it off. You said that you were ready. Do you even want to move in Stop together? Stop asking me, okay? I just... I just need some space. If you don't want me here, I can go. No, I didn't mean that. You're not listening to me. Do you know what? I am listening. I loved you and I wanted to know you and you don't even like that about me. Kirsten. from the fishing village Kellan are asking the Coast Guard to broaden the search for a trawler. So did you volunteer for this? The boat went missing off the coast. Oh, no. Could you have said no? Well, that didn't come up, so... It's three days. I can do that. I come out here a lot. Ian's parents live a few miles down the road. What else do you need from me? Like anything you can get on Burke, any drugs connections. I've emailed you a police report. Burke had a fight in a pub near the base. There were no charges, but it could be worth looking into. Remember, any messages that you send me are going to be read by a dozen people, so... so what? Nothing erotic then?
you mind staying at my flat while I'm gone? Flat? Why? Just for the cat, you know what she's like when I'm away. Follow me, please. Look, if you need to tell me anything, you don't want to flag it to the Navy, then maybe just reference things we've done together. Like what? I don't know. Places we've been. People we know. DCI Silver, this is Chief Petty Officer Matthew Doward. Hi. He'll be huh? flying out with you to replace Craig Burke. If you wait here, I'll just check they're ready. Thank you. It's not going to be for long. Come here. I'm sorry. You can't say that now. They're ready for you. would have gotten you something much better. This is really cool. Will she come see me when she's back? Oh, I'm sure she'd love that. Oh, let me help. Oh, let thank you help. kindly. Of course. You might take a leaf from her book, Poppy. I know who you are. Do you want to know how? How? Photos on Amy's phone. I know her passcode. We do chat to Amy from time to time. I love Amy. She loves you. He should come over more. Why do you go and play in your room now, Poppy? I don't want to. Maybe I should get going. Off you, Pop. I need a grown-up word with Kirsten. OK. Go on. If we're looking at joint custody, I'd like to know who you are. And I'm sorry to be direct, but she's my only grandchild. I feel I have a right to ask. Well, I'm sorry. More egg. No, um, I don't know anything about joint custody. Four months spent talking about it. She's never even discussed it with her partner. Part? Amy and I aren't together. We broke up. Well, she never mentioned that. I know Amy missed Poppy a lot. I mean, when we were together. She lost her dad. We were never being unkind. We just didn't want her going back and forth between Amy and us. She needed stability. But then Poppy got very depressed. Told her teacher that she'd been taken away from her mother. They're not together. She doesn't need to hear this. No, I really have to go. Thank no, you. No, no, please. Say goodbye before you go. She won't forgive us if you don't. Of course. My grandma's so annoying. Well, people generally are a bit annoying. I'm sorry it was me here today and not Amy. That's OK. She'll come see you as soon as she's back. want some answers. MI5 are in. They got your report. They're ready to have a crack at Doward. Do you want to take a look? Yeah, please. Maybe you should rest. No, I really want to see this. Should we go through? Yeah, sure.
you want me to drive you home, I can take you. No, I want to see Poppy. She's missed you. What? I dropped her off a present. It was on your calendar. Come with me. To see Poppy. Amy, when I was last year at Morag and Gordon, they mentioned the conversations you've been having about custody and they thought that I knew. But you don't need to say anything, it's just... Well, it's just in case it comes up, they... they know we're not together now. OK, I owe you an explanation. No, you really don't. Let me just... To. I want to, just let me try. you and me on our own. That was... Like, I was really happy. Yeah. I was happy too. It's just when we had to be out in the world. No, I, I know. Got... I know. I mean... I can see how it changed you. I could see it happen. Well, it's like you always said, I have to put everything in its own little box. So I just put... Pop in one and work in another, and you... I never wanted just the parts of you that were easy. Ever. I know I hurt you, and I'm sorry. You did hurt me. I just didn't know how to bring Poppy into this, not when I had so many questions. Well, how do you feel now? You always made it sound so easy when you said you loved me. Mm. I will. I don't think that should be hard. I find it hard. But it doesn't mean that I don't feel it. I want us to try. <laughs> I don't want to go back to the way things were. I know. No, I really don't. I mean, what if you wake up in 12 months' time and you're back where you started? I don't want that to happen. You know, when I was down there and I was trapped, like, all I could think about was Poppy. And you. when I'm under the war.